it's it's kind of confusing. What I, like, I understand what you're saying. <laughs> no, like, no, yeah. What I'm saying, if no I take her, if I take you out now, if I say, come on, let's go get a drink, do you expect me to pay? Do you expect us to If if, mm-hmm. if you are offering that we should go get drinks, I expect you to pay. Same way, not taking away from your gender. If Glory offers, say, for my let's go take this, I'd expect her to pay. Oh, she doesn't know. True. She doesn't know what's in my pocket. She's inviting. This me. is true. Okay, so but what if 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 we meet? If we meet, if we meet, if we meet, oh my yeah, goodness, meet, I will so pay for my drink. No, no like. Mm. Okay, me, I'm gonna be honest. Is, is, no, yeah, yeah, thank you. I, 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 don't, I, don't, I don't. want. At every yeah. point that a guy yeah. takes me out on a date, whether he acts, I expect him to pay. And I'm gonna be honest. He is taking you out. Even if I said, even if I had said to him, oh. Oh, I feel like a drink. Oh, I feel like, I feel like, like a, a drink. drink. I, yeah, I feel like a and drink. And you still expect him to pay? I would. I would have my own cash, and maybe uh-huh. once in a while I would offer to pay. Or I made the. I know this sounds. But by really different. No, no, but that's it. <laughs> I know different. this sounds really bad, but it's, it's true. It's, it's not different. It's, it's what, what, different. There's no, there's no, no difference. From, there. from, it's from the same thing. thing. I think exactly if you're inviting. Okay, but you know, guys, we strayed from the conversation. Okay, let's go sorry. back. Yes. Let's go back to this whole vulnerability. I'm really, yes. I really want to understand this. What do you mean when a woman is vulnerable? Like a woman with daddy issues, or what no, exactly? No, 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 not no, really. I think, no. okay. I, I think to let what what uh, Tola or is trying to say. Or dependent on her man. What that, Tola is trying to say is, um, for some men, some people might have potential as a woman, somehow striving so hard, and might be a lot more successful than they are. Yeah. Mm. And I, I don't think, as a man, you really want to stay in a house where the woman probably earns more. More oh. money. Woman, yes. Okay, so I will put it to you, Noble. Just say it happened. Everybody knows that you're a very strong, hardworking, and driven young man. You get married to this person, you're compatible, you love each other. And somewhere along the line, what is the lamest thing a woman can think of doing? She likes to take care of flowers and you know she starts with your neighbor's flowers yeah. and before you know it she's getting big contract yeah. and she happens to acquire more wealth than yeah. you would the marriage then break i'm not i'm not talking about what, what is talking about no good here i'm talking about it like no, no i know i'm just she's putting, putting a question there okay would the marriage break up yes no it wouldn't break up because but, but would, is, would i want my wife to be a lot more richer than i am i don't think so no that's what i'm saying she didn't start out like that but no, what I'm if just saying, it happens it exactly. happens along the way what's it what, what, what is about on, where something on. happens what about what you set out to achieve <laughs> I think wait, wait, wait. you mentioned you mentioned something. You oh, said wow. um, how do men identify? Do they want women with potential? You and you said before she knew it. That's before she knew she it. Knew. Let's put it into a period. Okay. If it's a guy, a Nigerian guy that really doesn't want her to, he will kill, he will that, kill that business. It. Very true. He will kill it. Very true. As soon as he, white because because will the mo- kill the moment his wife she business. starts, the mo- ask me if I think noble. <laughs> I don't think he will. I wouldn't kill my he's, wife. That's the truth. Yes, I know you wouldn't, noble. Yeah. That's why no, no, I'm no, asking. No, no. Would it then tell on your relationship? No, what, what would I, you let it tell on your relationship? No. What I, What I'm saying is like I, I could give you examples. Uh, when I, back back in the day when I used to work at Virgin, I had a colleague of mine who got a job for the wife in a bank. And you know when the bank had issues, he lost his job. When the bank had what issues. banks? Well, some mm-hmm. banks. Okay, like, okay. Yeah, he had issues. Then he lost his job, but the wife had the job. Then this morning he was playing his PS, and the wife was about to go to work. Mm-hmm. And she walked into the living room. She packed up the system and she threw it away. The third floor. Okay. No. Okay. Do you know what? Do you know? Do you know what? The thing about no. stories like that, stories I was like going that, to say something stories, about stories like that, <laughs> your immediate reaction is to go, that's a bit extreme. But we don't know what, what? has been happening in that home. So I'm always a bit, you know, what I, I don't like to, to support, judge. To support what Tola is saying, to support what Tola is saying, a lot yeah. of people look for people they can mold. A lot of people look for people they can, they can align with their thinking. A lot of people look for women. Most men look for women, not, not who, who answer yes sir all the time, but a woman who understands and look up to him. As the man of the Very house. True. So yeah. even when you become more successful, you, you still you, have that also, character trait. Yeah, you yeah. also find a way to make it look like your husband is the most successful. Let me give an example. Like, you know, flower business is growing so well, uh-huh. and she comes back to you every evening to say, ah, darling, we had like, a meeting, no, we have meeting. tomorrow, yeah. 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 I need to be in charge and all the rest of them. You get, but so a lot of women, a lot of men like their women to know that when they sit down and they look at her, not shut up but she will understand this is what they're saying <laughs> there, there, there are very few men who on the social media everybody wants to claim that they love a very strong woman yeah, but yeah. The, the thing a man wants to be the person that stands up at the middle of the night to put on the gen to lock the doors i don't think fix. any woman wants to be the one to wake up in the middle no, of the night but, 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 but when it comes to speaking <laughs> english about, <laughs> I about, about who is in charge most no women, no but, i think you're i think you're confusing it what a lot of feminists fight for is is um the chance to be giving um, 
to be doing. Out. Nobody, no, if, nobody's holding this, nobody's nobody's holding this opportunity. Yes, yes it's, it's easier for both of you to stand here because you're independent men of your own business mm -hmm, mm -hmm. to stay here. Mm -hmm. Whether we like it or not, there is a notion flying somewhere in the atmosphere, you know, where somebody says to you, this is not a man's job, this is a woman's Exactly. Where, so, where does that... Those Exactly. I think women just do that to say to, to, to men, give us more opportunities. That's one, of the, all. one of the businesses that I do is, is blogging. And Linda KG happens to be the most successful blogger in Nigeria. In Africa. Well, do, sure. do you understand? She saw the opportunity, she went for it. Mm -hmm. and, and so I'll, she took it. So if anybody's going to sit down somewhere discussing about opportunity to be given, no, I'm saying. no, no, I'll tell you, but I think where, where those things are being fought for are in areas where it is almost impossible for a woman. To Such as? Government. Okay, but then, okay, sorry, just to break into this and tie, try and tie everything back together. If women are looking for that, that sort of equal opportunity footstool or that sort of, you know, that space to grow, then why do we need men with potential? That's why that's I said, that's a good question because that's why I said, really, you need to check yourself. Mm, it's easy really for you to question. stand and say, oh, noble is this, he's wearing jeans, he's wearing a green mm -hmm. tee. Really, look at yourself first. Mm. You want a man with potential. How potential are, are you? you? I, I, th I think women should kind of form a forum mm -hmm. to actually decide what they want. What, what they want. <laughs> you know, I so, always say, I think, think that would be the first. Women worldwide, yeah, they need right. to meet. That would be the first option. That's the it, reason why you cannot categorize. Because you see women today, If you generalize want, women together, it, it's going to take more. I think women, I, 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 think women are, I, think women, I think women are actually you, simple. I think it's just that you men are not. <laughs> Sorry. Battle of the sex. Men, men, are, know, men, right? of the men sex. are the I most. Know. We're, we're so no, simple. I, I mean, it's, it's easier when so you simple, take it's a certain annoying. person and say, what does this person want than yeah. to generalize Exactly. What this is true. Want. That's, that's, <laughs> but, but also, like, when we're talking about what we're talking about, about, we're talking about even, even, when you, even when you go for weddings and even you, Gloria, for example, even when you go for weddings, what are the people that you look at for at these weddings? Do you look at for people who you think are well-dressed as men to give you attention or do you look for someone who no no, no come on. don't even come go on, on the other on. side that is so no, but why in the name of god will she look for exactly people who are not no, 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 i don't mean properly dressed i'm talking about i'm talking about potential <laughs> there is, there is, there is there we've established the fact that it you cannot see not, you don't see potential, potential from yeah. no, but exactly. by default by default what does their mind tell you to go for? Uh uh. We 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 sorry. Question. We also we also established the fact. Attractiveness and potential are two different hold things. On, hold, hold on, hold on. I'm not talking about fire. We, we, we established establish the fact that potential, some way, somehow, equals money. Yes. Right. So when you when you are looking out for potential, even though the guy is attractive, but you know by the nature of what he's wearing. You know, there, there are suits yeah, and there are suits. suits. Yeah, yeah exactly. you see yeah. a guy, like, okay, that guy is wearing a suit, that guy is wearing a coat. Oh, there are two different things. No, but I have to say the popular Nigerian adage, who no like better things? Oh, oh, who no like oh, better things? Means, no, so, which means, there. There. So, so we all agree that women no longer look out for potential. No! No, no, no you can't, women, you can't, no, I don't agree. No, no, I don't agree. Women look out for potential, right? But those, in situations where they don't find, they go with the next best thing because I even thought no, you were no, on our side. No, 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 no
And she says no. And when she's 31, a guy that works in something even less than a ministry proposes to this, this same girl. Look, and she says yes. That's exactly. a wisdom. Like no, that, no, that's no, wisdom. No, no, no. Okay, no, no, that's not what I'm no, saying about no, you. Let me let me no. let me no. that's not what I'm saying. Let me let me even well, let, let me take you up on that point. As a lady who is over 30 myself, I think after a while, just having, you know, every fairy notions of potential and a guy who may or may not at, at my age, you want tangible. Because you yourself have already started to see tangibles in your own life. You may not be extremely wealthy, but you have certain, you've achieved certain milestones. And you want to be, every woman, look, the truth is that every woman wants to be able to look up to her husband. So if, what is the, how would I now be with somebody who is just maybe coming out of school and trying to find his feet? It's difficult. I'm not saying that, yeah. you know, women shouldn't do that if they're above a certain age, but it's difficult. Like we said, the realities of life, no, it's difficult. No, that, you mentioned, you said you, most women want to look up to their husbands. Yes. No, but I, I, I don't think, um, for a lot of women that have gone past that mark of 30, mm. for them, you see, they sort of soften up on, on the, yes, on the look up. Yes, They probably they they want to look they at can, They can do it. They probably want to look at your husband. Hold on. Hold on. Yes. Wally, Wally, I don't say. Hold on. You're trying hold to on. say they're desperate. In other words. No, I'm not saying. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. See, you might not call it that. Well, saying they're desperate might be, you know. A little bit too harsh. A little bit too harsh. But, you know. Maybe you lower your standards a little bit, just a little bit, because you start thinking to yourself, okay, fine, there's a lot more pressure from my family, you know, look at my age, I'm not looking the same I was before, I'm like, okay, but this guy is not so bad. Then you start, then to those women, right, potential now becomes something else. That's it's different. What is, what is, what is, it's I don't, different. Wally, but you're telling me what, you, how do you know that? Because it's the truth. Because it's the truth. Because because it's the the truth. truth. I disagree. I'm not generalizing, I'm not speaking for everyone over 30. But well, the truth is this, and I said earlier, with laps of time, you become wiser. And let me give you an example. I'm 21, 22, and I'm saying to myself, I want to marry, like you said, a man with three rings in the world and this. By the time I get to, to say 28, I'm wiser. I take my pen and paper, I calculate. How many men in Lagos? Let's start with you. How many of them have three? We'll start doing an elimination process. Maybe 70 of them mm -hmm. have three rings. Mm -hmm. How many of these 70 men do I yeah, have access to? Mm -hmm. Can I go to the places this man hangs out? Mm. What is the possibility of it's it's wisdom? I don't no, think but, it's lowering your standards. Whether we like it or not, or software. But can I say something? Like if, if somebody, a lot of if somebody you bread. decide on when you're a child. I remember when I told if, my mom, from black, I said I wanted to be a detective. And I hounded her about it till I think till I had finished um till I had finished secondary school. Wow. Now that was influenced wow. by books I had read. Um watching detective series, I was in love with Matlock, P.S. I love you, <laughs> moonlighting. But forgetting that, you know, the economy and the society we are creating is different from America. Sure. It was just what I wanted to be. Nobody told me that. With age, I got wiser. With age, I realized that being a detective was being in the police force. Kuma, Kuma has mentioned a whole lot of things about that has to do with age. Mm. Uh, this is where I come in. This is what I want to know. Okay. At what age do you think people should marry for the truth is this. Yeah, the, the truth is this. Okay. Yeah, sorry, the truth is this. I don't think that there is any one size fits all. The revelation comes from you. Oof, the me, I think Holy that's a cop out. I think that's a cop out. I think it's a cop out. Cop out. Yeah. I think it's a cop out. I really, yeah. really, from what we've been saying, Mio, I think if you're under 30, it's okay yeah. to marry for potential. But if you're above 30, kind of aim for that security. That's what I think. And Really, I, I, I think I, I don't, I, I don't. It's, I, I, you know, think, it would be easier for me to sit down and wrong, talk. Really, because, because I'm married before I, like I, I became no, gay. No, 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 but, but I think I'm, what is not what is. Well, my, only, my only happiness is women still don't know what they want. <laughs> no, 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 you cannot use that again. No, that is so unfair. No, no, what is the truth? No, that is so unfair. You can't say no, no, It's the truth. It's the truth. I can tell you for 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 real. There's a whole lot of young men out there who are marriage age yeah. uh -huh. and they can't get married because the women they want to get married to do not believe in their potential yeah. yes okay so <laughs> even, even, me, even though a lot of okay. people believe that that brings me to my closing argument okay okay i believe every man should marry below his social class okay bam that's, that's, that's just <laughs> <laughs> no, no, I, that's, I, I, I think i don't i i, don't I, like, I like the fact that he said he, he believed that, that she said she believes that every man should marry below social class. But will every man be willing 
to do that. that. Yes, that's and, another and, and I can give you countless reasons why people wouldn't do this. I know people who wouldn't marry the first daughter in a family of six because some of these men don't want to train their wives' brothers Thousands in school. Of, yes. They don't want to open shops with them. They don't want to do all those things. There's, when it comes that's to class, thing. there are some things people are used to. Yeah. There's some people are not used to. Like I've seen a couple of people who never flown from here to Abuja, but when they marry into money, they want to fly business class, first, even though first, they've not, they've not, not tried that ever in their in their entire life. And it boils down to this. I think people should look at for people who they're comfortable with. Course, people should look at for people who day. basically because whether for potential sakes, for security sakes, for you wouldn't want to marry a man that would treat you as a property. Yeah. Because I mean if he's had That's everything true. before you come into the yeah. house. I mean, he acquired French, you. No, but that's the truth. Like, you know, so every other thing, he's had everything. He did not work to anybody. He didn't know when he laid the foundation. He didn't know when he started his business. He didn't yeah. know if he wrote money. And or he still, and, but, yeah. and he still came to marry you. So, but like, this is what I think. I, I don't think women should wait for age to tell them what they want. I think people should sit back, decide what they want from get go, evaluate the man you are with. And like they always say in Igbo land, there's an Igbo addict that says that anybody who is not good in friendship should not be good in marriage, <laughs> basically. So if you're, if you're seeing this someone, true, so if yeah. you're not seeing somebody just for the sake of, let's it just be that we're dating, yeah. then that's, that's bad enough. So you should always look for someone who's got at least half of the thing that you want in a man or a woman, potential, wealth, whatever it is that oh, works for you. I mean, clearly it's and good to know what, like we were saying before, like, Potential is success in some way. And yeah. you have to find what is successful for you. For you. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, but let, let's get to the final. Let's start wrapping this argument up. What about somebody, people who are watching now, in relationships, married, engaged, whatever, courting, mm. with somebody who, by what we defined as potential yeah. or security, they don't, they don't have that. What What is your advice? Can, can you teach a man, can you help a man to have potential? You see, you know, now that, that's very tricky. Because you know, you know, women and our ego, right? Mm. Um, you have a boyfriend or a husband or something, and the guy is just so laid back. He's a he's a banker. He's on his um, entry level. He has been on that level for four or five years. And you, you just you know, it's like, why don't you apply for this new job? Why don't you do? You know, at some point, maybe the guy can take it for a while. But after a while, he's gonna bark at you like, hey, calm down. This That's is my right. life. What do you? I'm fine, I'm okay, I might not put some food on your table. Yes, it might not be designer rice, but at least it's some form of rice, you know, or something like that. So you need, you need to be very, very careful. There are very there are subtle ways that you can talk to a man, but you will know your man better. So you need to know um, how to approach him. You know, just drop subtle hints here and there. Don't be, don't make it too obvious, like, oh, um, um, my friend, you, know, you can see her husband is driving a range. When are you going to drive a range? You need to do this. You need, you know, you need to be very subtle about it. Okay, honey, how about this? Why don't we try this or something? You know, make it very subliminal. Don't be all up in his face. I think that's the best approach I would advise. Well, what about you? Um, for those who are married, I don't think I, you know, have any advice. <laughs> you. You're in it. Uh, you're in it. Just try to make it work. And the truth is, you know, in most cases. If you honestly empty your heart and give it your all, you will make it work. Yeah. Um, I mean, we're not talking violence here or anything, mm. so it, it, you know you yes. can make it work. For people who are courting, you're, you're almost there. You know, these are the times when you, you should be thinking, am I making the right decision or, or not? If you're just you know dating or you know just friends, um, in in all of it, I think I'm going to take a cue from what Noble said. Whether we're looking at the potential, the security, the money, the see, the truth is you're not going to be married or together for just a certain time. Yeah. It's a timeline. Mm -hmm. So that security could be here. It could be here. It could be here. If you're lucky, it could be here. Mm. All through, right? However it works, make sure that this is the kind of person that you can stand. Yeah. At the end of the day, there's no designer rice on the table. You can say, darling, don't worry, let's eat this one. Tomorrow we would afford it. If it doesn't work, you can look at him and say, darling, don't worry, let's just, at least we have a mattress we can put on the floor. Make sure that it is not the kind of person when the security or money is off, he, he or she just becomes an irritant to you. That's where you've missed it. So look, the major first thing is look at this person. Can I, because I, I say to people, marriage is just about two people deciding, you've got rubbish, I've got rubbish, can you take my rubbish? Can I take, take your rubbish? rubbish. Yeah. So just make sure that when all those walls are down and you look at the rubbish, say, darling, it's you, it's your rubbish, let me take it. Yep. That's also, just make sure that you're compatible. Mm -hmm. No, I'm always afraid to ask. <laughs> <laughs> I'm always afraid to ask. No, I'm I, afraid I, to I hear. Think, <laughs> I, I think 
it's important that people don't marry for the wrong reasons. Yeah. And this is because uh, I've not been married before, but I also know that marriage is practically an extension of a relationship. So if people don't change while you're dating them, they practically yeah, might not really change when you're married to them. And if you if you, if you went into a marriage with a lot of expectations and these expectations are not being met right now, the only thing you, you can do is to probably work harder to meet these expectations by yourself. Mm -hmm. But if you are cutting someone, like I always say, like I said before, that tell signs, that things to look at for, for the man that you want to be with. That, like it depends on what a woman wants in a man actually. My colleagues have spoken about Zena rice. <laughs> so, if if you like the Zena rice, and he is not being the crusader for the Zena rice, he may not he really be pushed yeah. to Never. get the Zena rice. rice. And if, if what you want to eat for the rest of your life is Zena rice, you might you just have to, have to start <laughs> looking <laughs> elsewhere <laughs> yes. for someone who likes Zena. Because if you want to eat to him tomorrow, he might not really be, rice will not be recover from the table an issue. and yeah, everything. But but this but, but my, my 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 last word will be this. Even though the world has got so material, I think people should look for companionship in marriage and in dating. People should look for friendship. People should look for all those things they can stand even when there's no money. Love weighs away. At some point, you don't feel the way you feel about someone. But some things, either the way you guys watch TV, the way he brushes your hair, the way he rolls up his jeans or anything. Just find something that you love that can make you stay. And hold on to it. That's what I think. And your so. party shot was not that bad. Though, like, <laughs> <laughs> you almost got a bit romantic. Yeah. Yeah. You know, he brushes your hair. <laughs> but thanks, guys. This conversation has been... I think I've even learned... I've learned a bit. I've learned that, you know, men look for... A, women who are vulnerable. Yeah, yeah. I've learned that men also look for potential in women. And yeah. But also, I think what, what I would take away from this is that you as a woman or as a man, you must know what you're looking for in a relationship. Yeah, I think it's very important to be don't true to who you are. Yes. yes, don't be confused about it. And if what you're looking for, like we say, is designer rice, then, you know, stick to your guns. Don't soften at a certain age. Or rather, be guided by wisdom. Exactly. But thank you, guys. I think thank it's been really know. interesting. I, guys, I hope you learned a thing or two from this conversation. Well, if you didn't, you can always join us next time where we have other guests talking about other inspiring things. Thank you. See you soon. Bye.